One of the first types of riddles that you need to crack in Hogwarts Legacy are the doors with numbers on them. There are quite a few doors of this type in the castle and they may give you a hard time, but there is a great location in Hogwarts that gives you a quick way to solve those math problems and I'm going to show you where to find it. The code awaits you in the arithmetic classroom. You can unravel the location very fast in the game. Already after Professor Weasley briefs you on field guide pages on the first day and Professor Fig tells you how to use your map, you can set your way to any flu network point in the castle by choosing it from the list. So here, if you choose to go to the Venetian classroom, you're almost there. You can also just walk here through the viaduct entrance if you prefer exploring the castle on foot or you haven't unlocked the Venetian classroom flu point yet. It's a short way from here, you proceed through the wooden platform, turn right and you find yourself at the arithmetic classroom. To the right of the blackboard, you'll find a chest with a code to open every door of the number type. Every digit from 0 to 9 is assigned to a certain picture of an animal. These pictures, in the same order, from the left to the right, you will find on every door of this type. All you need to do to open the door is replace the animals with the digits and then solve the math question. Let's see how it works actually. When you see a door that won't open but has a sign to reveal the numbers on it, you should, first thing, cast Trevally around it. The spell allows you to see the two locks nearby the door. The locks will also be highlighted in blue. Now we need to find out the correct digits slash animals for each lock. Take a look at the triangles on the door. The number in the center is bigger in size than the numbers on the vertices of the triangle. This is the sum we need to come to using the add-ons around it. For example, here we see an image of a three-headed snake or something of this kind. I'm just calling it a snake. In the arithmetic guide we have found the snake stands for three. By the way, after you picked up the guide, you can check it out anytime in your inventory. Back to the puzzle now. We add three to two, get five, still missing four to make a sum of nine. This means the answer is four here actually, now we only should take another look at our guide. Four is assigned to a strange creature that reminds me of a chicken on a broomstick. I haven't come up with a name for it, so I just memorized the way it looks. Now we're ready to move to the first lock with one interrogation sign on it and draw it until we see the correct picture. Halfway there, now the same thing we need to do with the second lock. Need to come up with a sum of 4, 1 plus 0 makes 1 and we're still missing 3 to make it 4. 3 is a snake, as you remember. Now I'm going to find the snake sign on the lock. Rolling until we see the picture and going back to the door. Now it opens easily by just pressing the button. The arithmetic class provides a fantastic opportunity to practice this new skill. You'll find two more doors of the type inside, a field guide page and a bunch of useful loot. And if you want to know how to make your first visit to Hogsmeade most fun and useful, check out my video, the link's on your screen. Thank you for your attention, see you at Hogwarts! Knox.